Did you know that Lakewood was built as an experiment? Yeah, Lakewood was built as an experiment. But let's get this business out of the way first and then I will get right back to telling you all about Lakewood. My name is Steve Arthur and I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach area and all of the surrounding cities powered by Nationwide Real Estate Executives. If this is our first time meeting here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so that you will be notified every single time I put out a video. And I do put them out every single week. All right, let's get back to Lakewood. Yes, the city of Lakewood was actually built as an experiment. Back in the 1940s, before Lakewood got developed, the land that Lakewood now sits on was hog farms and bean fields. Back in 1949, there were three men who were credited with altering the map of Southern California with what they did here in Lakewood. And their names are Louis Boyer, Mark Taper, and Ben Weinart. And you will see their names throughout the city on local landmarks. So in 1949, they started designing the future city today. 9.5 square miles, all laid out in a uniform grid. All streets are at a right angle. Because, little known fact here, when it was built, it was built on a natural floodplain. So they figured curvy roads would disrupt the rainfall. So they built the road straight to help the runoff. Little known fact there, it is no longer a flood zone by the way. They put 46 homes per block with the lots measuring 50 by 100 giving you a 5,000 square foot lot. And at the time in California, that was huge. And check this out, they were completing a home every seven and a half minutes. 40 to 60 were completed per day. That's kicking some serious ass and not even bothering to take their names. These guys were just studs and one day they set a record of 110 homes completed in one day. They didn't have all this fancy equipment we have now, the nail guns, uh, all, all this crap. They just shut up and swung a hammer and built. These guys were studs and these houses are built awesome. So in the end, they built 17,500 homes in less than three years. That's incredible. This experiment was geared towards the Ward War II veterans. The veterans could get a home with zero down payment, a 30 year mortgage at a 4% interest rate. Is that awesome or what? So the very first day that the sales office opened up, March 24th, 1950, they had over an estimated 30,000 people lined up to look at seven model homes. Wow! And by the end of April, over 200,000 people had flocked from across the country here to look at these model homes at the Lakewood Park Sales Office. And over 1,000 families had already purchased homes with an average of 30 homes sold per day. And in one day, they set a record. Now this is astronomical. They did 107 homes sold in one hour. Not even a day, an hour. Now the monthly cost on the home would run you about 44 to $56 per month, including principal and interest. It was a fantastic deal. Now the Lakewood primary thoroughfares are boulevards, such as Lakewood Boulevard, Carson Boulevard, Delamo Boulevard, you get the point. And they're usually decorated with decorative mediums right down the middle of the road. Well, they've gotten rid of some of those, but when they originally designed them, that's the way they designed it. And what's really, really cool about the neighborhoods is to get directly into a neighborhood, you have to go through a service street first. So that's actually kind of cool. And that's something that is still hailed upon by city planners today. So with the population already at 70,000 people, well, it grew and so did all the municipal needs grew too. So in 1953, the citizens had a vote for three different options. The residents agreed upon becoming an incorporated city and contracting out all the municipal needs with LA County. So therefore you have LA County Sheriff's, LA County Fire Department. Whereas Long Beach, you have the Long Beach Fire Department, you have the Long Beach Police Department. But in 1953, what this did, by voting on this, this made Lakewood the first contract city 
in the nation. And since then, many, many cities have followed suit. Now, I can sit here and talk about Lakewood all day long if you want me to, or would you like to look at some homes, see some prices, see what Lakewood has to offer? That sounds better to me. And this pool behind me, this is usually filled up and this is for the little ones. As you can see, this is a complete family atmosphere park. We have a playground just dedicated for the little ones. And a playground for the bigger kids. And behind me is the Lisa Fernandez baseball field. But Lisa went on for a fantastic career. She was in so many Olympic games, she Pan Am games, she's won everything you can imagine. And this is where she got it all started, and so they named the field after her, and she is a quite frequent here. Well, you guys got to hold on one second. I've got to make a stop. I hung a door yesterday, and so now I've got to fine tune it in there. I'll be right back. So this is a typical neighborhood here in Lakewood where the medium home price is at $640,000 compared to Long Beach where it's at $690,000. Let's go ahead and take a look around. You have some of your old style homes and then you have some modern people do work on their homes. And Lakewood still, to this day, is still a family-friendly city, just like as it was designed to be. The neighborhood that every city has, that everybody wants to live in, well, this is that neighborhood. This is Lakewood Country Club. These homes are spectacular here. Now this neighborhood, I don't think was included in the original design of the neighborhood because these homes are all just custom made. Let's take a look. So this neighborhood does not fall into that category of the 17,500 homes built in the three years because these homes are all custom built made homes. These homes are gorgeous. Now, if you wanna know prices, just give me a call and let's talk about whatever you see listed here because these houses, they do get up there. But like I said earlier, this is where the elite wanna live here in Lakewood. Not too shabby in your backyard though, is it? So as you can see, Lakewood's experiment well, it was a success. It has developed into a great family community that is affordable, that has great sports programs for the kids, and they're constantly improving in on the city. This is why Lakewood is a great community to raise your family. So do you remember the, that picture earlier about the, the sales office, the videos with everybody lined up out front? Well, guess where I'm standing at right now? Let me show you. So I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please give me a like, but until next time, you take care.